Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Prison Architect and it's time to keep building. So I was recommended I do double walls because my prison is very close to my standard fences. And I think that's a good idea. It's also recommended that I not suck as much. That was my personal recommendation to myself. Also, I think a great idea. So, um, I think it's time to, to get started in the creation of our first uh, cell block. Because we're just going to go jump right into cell blocks, I think. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build this big-ass chunk to our prison. It's going to cost just an immense amount of money. Yeah, see? It's just all the money is going to this. Why? I have the money for that. Oh, it's it's because it was like... Nope, that's a yard. We don't need foundation there. Alright, so we'll get that set up. Which will be great because we can start building our internal prison setup. Um, I forgot what this was going to be. I think that was a cafeteria, wasn't it? Okay, well, we are going to begin labeling rooms. As soon as we get some internal walls up. Uh, what do you think? A jail door there? So that we can get in? I don't know how he got a jail door. We hadn't even, we hadn't even had that delivered yet, but there we go. Um, and we need to set up some light action in here. So we'll put a single light in the offices. There we are. Are perfect. And then we will put a staff door. Wait, they already got a staff door. And we'll put a regular door on each door here. So I was told by a help commenter that the way that I can remove um, lights without destroying my foundation was the dismantle object button as opposed to the bulldoze button, which is what I was using before super helpful, because that was really annoying. And I'm sure I knew that at one time. It was gone. So we're, we're knocking down some trees, so let's go ahead and set objects to be sold. Can I just... That, that, that work? No. You gotta click them one at a time. Got it. Oh, I can hold the mouse button down and just kind of wave it around. Cool. Oh, take it. This is going to pay for so much stuff. Yep, got some tree bits sold. Okay. There we are. Now, the question is... How are we going to set up our internal rooms? That's a good question. And, we can sell that. We can sell these. Um, why is that not finished? That looks finished to me. Ah, there's a bit that's missing for some reason. I'm sure I did something to screw that up. Let's go ahead and get that done. Bring in the last bricks. Um. No, but seriously. Why is this not finishing? Do I need another door? Um, let's get a staff door in here. Right there. Sometimes that happens. Um, we'll put another door here. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, hold on. The game lagged a bit, but we got, we got something. It's happening. It's happening. I don't know what it is, but it's happening. Okay, well that's... That's unfortunate. That's what that is. Pull does that. Let's just pull those this whole damn thing. And then we'll put it all back. Because apparently it's all weirdly disconnected now, and I don't know why. But it is. Guys? 
bulldoze the foundation. Oh, there was a line of unfinished foundation just hiding there. Oh, I see. Well, I don't know why that happened, but there you go. Okay. So we're getting that lined out, right? We've got one more spot to finish. Come on, guys. You can do this. I believe in you. And our ability to finish the doors. Uh, dismantle that. Dismantle that. Okay, I have no idea why this is this is not finishing. Huh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we can put a, a door in. Um, let's put a jail door in. Right there. Just go ahead and put that back in there and you guys can get in here and do your thing. Okay. Um. So, we have some work to do here. Let's go ahead and start putting our walls in. Some brick wall action there. This is the kitchen area. Okay. I think this is the shower. I think utilities are over here. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to do over there. So we'll wait on that. This was going to be something. And... You know what, we're just going to go ahead and flop it down like this. And then cancel out the walls by pausing so that they don't get too far on it. Because I'm lazy. Hey, you sons of bitches, I cancelled that. Oh wait, no I didn't. Carry on, gentlemen. Carry on. You do the Lord's work. Lord Merrick's work? Ha ha! Okay, so we're gonna get that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. And this. Yes. Let the prison take shape. I don't know what my fetish with this hallway business is. I always have these hallways in my prisons, and I don't know why. Alright, continue. Okay, so this is the cafeteria. I don't know what these rooms are for. I think I was going to have utilities over here. Like in this room? Can we put like a, um, a staff door back here? I think. Let's see if we could fit in um, a water pump right there. And pause, because these guys are way too efficient at their jobs. And then a power station has clearouts on all sides. So we should be good to power station there. Continue your jobs, gentlemen. Keep up the good work. And here we could do visitation. And um, for that we would want probably a jail door. And we'll close that door off. Or that wall off. So that's going to be our visitation center. So let's go ahead and identify that room. Um, if I can, yes. All right. Um, visitation. This is going to be prison intake. So we're going to have um the canteen over here. It's going to be a, the biggest canteen we've ever had. Uh, we should probably dismantle that door. We don't need that door there. C 
because it's like the door to nowhere. Sort of like the bridge to nowhere back in the day. Um, do 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 do. Canteen, kitchen. So we need a kitchen here. There's our kitchen. And we need to actually finish our canteen because we got a big old hole in the canteen. Um, that's the staff room. There's the canteen. I always lose that stuff. The showers are going to be here, right next to the canteen. So, you're going to have to deal with taking a shower next to where you eat. They always say don't shit where you eat. Well, fortunately, they don't say don't shower where you eat. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. Um, to do this, we want a wall here. We want to put a door... We'll give them some privacy, because I'm nice, and this is a minimum security prison. Uh, just, just a regular door there. Alright, and then we're going to have a regular door there, and a staff door in the back side. There we go. So we're going to have just a line of cookers here, and some sinks back here so that we can wash all the things and then some fridge is back there perfect and we got $391,000 so we're doing good on that we should have plenty of time and money so we got a couple of serving tables and then we need tables and benches Tables and benches. I kind of went stupid on that. What did I do that for? Like that. Cancel that. Put that there. And then we'll have one against the wall. And then we should be able to bench. 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 And we're just going to do this across here like this. Uh, nope, nope. There we go. Now it's taken shape. There's going to be some awkward seating arrangements, but you know what? What's prison without a little bit of awkward seating arrangements, right? Nothing like a little awkward seating arrangement between friends. And we have room to grow, so if we need to, we can add another row later. I'm going to call that okay. I'm going to say that's a good thing. Um, huh. Alright, so these up here are cells. We're going to have cells like this. Now, we can't have small cells, but I think these cells um, are the minimum size that we can have. And then uh, this is... What is this going to be? This is prison intake, I think. Common room's going to be here. Actually, common room's going to be... Um, out in the hallway, I think. Because I don't know that I can put... Um, let's see, this is... 4x4 four four with the walls. So, like, that would be a cell. Yeah, I can't put a cell in here unless I take this hallway out. So I think it's better if I just make this all the common room. So if I go like this... And we just start out with the common room, um, rooms, there we go. And common room, like so. There we are. We'll put some entertainment there. And then we're going to have, um, visitation needs a visitor table. So we can put a couple visitor tables in there. They can meet with their attorneys, they can meet with their families, they can meet with their drug dealers. I don't know who they meet with during visitation. I don't care. Just behave. That's all you have to do. Beehive. Um, okay, so we now need to fix our yard. Which is gonna be like so. That's excellent. And... You know what? We're actually going to have the yard connected like this. Cancel those. 
we're gonna put um, another jail door. Uh, why didn't I click it? I don't know. Another jail door right there. I don't want to follow that guy. I don't want to look at that guy's butt. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Um, so we need to fix our offices here. So that, like that. Uh, nope, nope. There we go. Now we're facing the right direction. Then they need chairs. Boop. Boop. No, you don't need two chairs. I don't know why I want to give everything two of each thing, but I do. It's kind of silly if you think about it. A filing cabinet. I'm just going to go ahead and staff out, or uh, deck out all the offices, even though they don't technically need it right now. Because um, I just want to have it done. Okay, so there's that, there's that. Um, we need a storage room, which I can build somewhere else. Like over here, maybe. What else do we need? Um, we got a hospital wing right there. So that's going to be um, hospital. This is our yard. It's amazing. Okay, in the yard we're gonna put a few a few things that they would like to have. You know, everybody likes to work out a little bit. And everybody likes to make telephone calls. So there we go, in the shower. We're just gonna we're just gonna put a couple of shower heads in. Just a couple at a start. Uh, that is not the right way to do that. There we go drains to keep them from flooding the place. Not that they would do that intentionally or anything. Um, we want a couple of metal detectors. Uh, we'll put one here. Metal detector there. We'll put a metal detector there. And then we need to build the cells. So beds. We go like this. Okay, gonna deck all the bedrooms out. Oh, it's gonna be the best. They're gonna be so happy they're here. They're not even gonna know what to do with themselves. They're not even gonna have to wait in a holding cell. It's amazing how nice I am to these guys. We're gonna put the toilet at the foot of the bed. Oh, usually your shitter's right there next to your head, but no, not at my prison. At the new and improved prison, you get to shit at your feet. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Shitting at your feet. The only way to fly. Okay, there we go. And as long as you guys aren't assholes, you'll get to keep your shitter not next to your head, but at your feet. Won't that be just the best? Yes, it will. Okay. This is expensive. But you know what? These guys are going to be worth it. They're going to be the best prisoners on the planet. The best! They even get a light right in front of their shitter so they can sit on the throne and read, which is just, you know, probably the most satisfying place to read a book in, in any situation, not just in prison, but anywhere. Then I don't like that. Like, um, yeah, we can just do a light in front of each door, sort of like this. I like that. We're gonna start bringing in some prisoners soon. Because we are running out of money. This works. It'll be a nice lit up area for our people to live and work in. Then we do one like this. And then just one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, we'll dismantle that one. Ah, ah, he got it. 
Uh, we have the, no, the light. Okay, we'll have to, we'll have to put that bench back. Um. Thank you. You got the light. We'll put the table back. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, so the place is a disaster. I mean, it's just, it looks awful because we don't have any staff cleaning it. So we need to figure out how to deal with that. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that after we do our utilities. Okay, so electricity needs to come up like this through the walls and then we're just gonna run it straight through the hallway here like so and then we're gonna run it like this actually I don't even need to run it like that I can just run it like this there we are gonna run this into this little bit here and then we're gonna put some light power ability in there. Okay, we need capacitors. So we're just gonna go ahead and check this bad boy out with the capacitors. All the power is what I have. And then we're gonna run some electricity right down this hallway here. And then straight down like that. And that should get everybody there. And is it turned off? Switch on. There we go, it was turned off. Okay. Now let's put some lights in this hallway here. Like so. Some lights in the shower so they can see. You know, if you drop the soap, you don't want to have to be crawling around to search for it. So we're gonna just go ahead and put some lights all over the place. Gonna make everybody visible and happy. Don't want anybody guessing where their friends are. Okay, so we need pipes for the shitters and pipes for the showers and pipes for the sinks. Alright, and then we're gonna take a large pipe right out of here right up to there. And that should get everybody water, right? Hopefully it will go that far. It might not. I might need to bring a large pipe down the hallway a bit. And if I do, I do. It'll be alright. So, we gotta hire some staff here. We need a warden. Alright, and I need... Um... Maintenance? Do I need to research that? Programs, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Um. Ah, there we go. Yes, maintenance. I need to do research that. And maintenance. And. Um, finance. Go! Do your research. And you don't have enough power. Because they never put that one in. Okay, wait a second. It does not take it far enough. We've gotta go deeper. We've gotta go deeper! We're just gonna bring that big old pipe all the way down to here. How about that? And then we'll connect in some feeder pipes once we figure out how far it'll go, and it'll be great! And don't worry, we're bringing you your, your your power soon there, Warden. Um, like that. Because it's broken for some reason. Oh, that's loud. Okay, let's go back to utilities. We're gonna put a feeder pipe right there. And... I guess like a feeder pipe here? We're gonna run electrical down here, like so. Okay. Maybe that'll fix it, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. 
Interesting. They're connected. They should have water. I don't know why this isn't working. Because see, they're all connected to this big pipe here. Maybe there's too many little pipes? That could be it. Uh, the water doesn't know which way to go. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Let's pull all this little pipe out. And we'll start over. Okay. Aha! I figured it out. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. And we need to dismantle all of this piping here. Okay, and then we just need to come in right underneath, like so. Put one pipe back. And we just need to come down into the room on these guys, like so. And that'll fix that. Oh shit, our power's still broken. Okay. Nope. Yep. That'll fix the power. And now we have water. Wonderful. Alright, Warden. Have you gotten us maintenance unlocked yet? Because boy, do we need it. You have groundskeeping, cleaning, and that. I need a foreman. Alright, well, I could definitely hire a foreman. He gets an office wherever he wants. And a chief. He gets an office wherever he wants. Because soon, we're going to be bringing in the, the peoples. The people's people. So that we can have, you know, prisoners. We're just gonna run power straight underneath there. For some reason they didn't want to connect, so I'm gonna force them to connect. You guys have power, you have power, you've got one more to install. There we go, that's got power. Our grid is not even taxed yet. Can I hire a couple of janitors, please? Um, I don't know why your doors aren't working. Normal mode. Oh, your door oh because I don't have any prisoners, so they're not going to shut the doors. Arr! He's researching cleaning, which is great because we need a janitor. Are you done yet? You're not done yet. Okay. Um... Let's see, my capacity is 22. That's not the best. Three janitors, four to five janitors, a lot of janitors. Just get to cleaning. Okay, so we don't really have a ton of capacity, so I think I am going to make a holding cell. I lied in my advertisement of this prison as not having a holding cell. It does. You get to be held right where all the food is made, because I am an asshole. Okay, so you need a toilet and a bench. Um, objects. Toilet. You get one toilet and three benches. There we go. Let's go to utilities and give this guy a little bit of water action. Not sure why I did the water like that. Cancel. Ah, oh, you bastard. Let's handle that. That should give him water. Wait, did I run that correctly? I did not. It would help if I actually ever finished the damn task. Like, I get there and then I'm just like, meh, maybe not. Alright, so let's put some lights in here. And now my prisoner capacity is still 22. But that's okay. Because look how clean my prison's getting. Oh, these janitors are the best. And I think it's time to hire some cooks. Um, I'm going to hire three cooks. Uh, exceeds daily budget. Oh. Okay. Well, I think we are ready to bring in some prisoners. Um... I want to actually set up a reception center before we do that first. Um, so where's intake? 
It's gonna be... is it reception? Yeah. So we got reception right here. It's an office desk, a table, and a chair. Office desk. It's gonna be in the corner. This is where all the ass objects go. He needs a table. This is where they we find the ass objects. And we have a chair. Alright. So we have a reception set up nicely. I think we're ready to take in some prisoners. And the janitors are just keeping this place clean. And my cash flow is down to a single dollar, so I probably really do need to get some prisoners in. I can't really feed them because my daily budget kind of sucks. Um, and my janitors are just taking a break, I guess. Oh, I need a staff room. I should probably set one of those up, shouldn't I? Because my staff will be really tired and sad if I don't. Uh, staff room. This is going to be the staff room, right? I need this wide sofa and a drink machine. Wide sofa. Drink machine. And... And, because I love my staff, a friggin' TV. That's right, you get a TV and two lights. What? I know, right? Okay, there we go. There we go. And... There we are. Oh, we need a little bit of electricity. Um... Kinda just bring it down like this. And that'll, that'll connect all of that. And we should probably put some lights in here. I keep forgetting the light places, but I really don't want to turn auto light on because I hate its placements. So there we go. Some lights. And some power in there. Beautiful. We'll make a storage room somewhere. Probably make a storage room right here. And how are we doing on cleaning up the prison? Oh, the prison looks so good. Oh, yes. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so I don't have enough guards. I don't have enough cooks. But you know what? In the next episode, we're going to bring some people in. And it's going to be exciting. Because we're going to start making some real money instead of making just a dollar a day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you like the look of this prison because it's going to stick with us for a while. We're actually going to do some long cell blocks here to, to reach some of those grant goals in the future. And I will work on getting the double walls up for the cheap perimeter fences and try my best to keep all of these minimum security prisoners super happy. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that little subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time. How big? How big do, do our offices have to be? Um, it's a 4x4. Four four. So let's go back to planning. And that is the internal size of an office. 